सो हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ योर एस जी पी एंड सी जी पी एस कोर्स ओके सो डो दू डोंट नो सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल अबाउट द मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन ऑफ दिस एस जी पी ए एज वेल एज सी जी पी ए ओके सो बिफोर कैलकुलेटिंग एस जी पी ए सी जी पी ए फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू नो इज अबाउट द ग्रेड पॉइंट सिस्टम एंड द क्रेडिट सिस्टम ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द क्रेडिट सिस्टम सो क्रेडिट सिस्टम मीन्स फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट दे वुड बी हैविंग फ्यू ऑफ द क्रेडिट्स ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज अ थियरी सब्जेक्ट विच इज बेस्ड कंप्लीटली ऑन थियरी एंड कैलकुलेटिव सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर दैट द क्रेडिट्स गिवन आर थ्री क्रेडिट्स ओके एंड फॉर लैब सब्जेक्ट द क्रेडिट गिवन इज वन क्रेडिट एंड इफ देर इज थियरी प्लस लैब बोथ सब्जेक्ट Uh, a subject which has both theory as well as lab for that totally would be uh, they would they would be giving four credits and uh, mcq part or the language part uh, language subjects such as english kannada hindi and all for that they would be having one credit okay so this was all about the credit system so now let's get to the grade point system so you need to be knowing this uh, in order to calculate the cgp sgp so the first thing is uh, the marks scored the total marks you score right If your uh, total mark score is of the range 90 to 99, then you would be getting 10 grade points for that subject. Okay, and if your total mark score is is in the range of 80 to 89, you get nine points. 70 to 79, you get eight. 60 to 69, you get seven. It goes on 50 to 59, you get six, and 40 to 49, you get five. And if you get below 40. with the total marks after bo- including both externals and internals in a subject you would be you would not be getting any grade point okay so this would affect your uh, sgpa as well if you score below 40 i'll tell you how so this was all about the grade point system and the credit system so hope you all understood this so now let's get to the calculating calculation part so now let's get to know, know about the calculations okay so now in a particular semester let let us assume that you have these subjects okay i have not uh, given any name of the subject so you should understand that okay so uh, i have assumed here eight subjects or eight courses and for that in the bracket i have written all the credits for that courses as well okay so here in the course one i have written it as four credits that is it includes both theory and lab and course 2 again i have written as four credits that again that includes both theory and lab and course 3 4 5 i have written it as three credits in the bracket and course 6 7 8 and i have written it as one credits okay yeah so now the first thing you need to do is uh, how many credits are there right we need to sum it up okay first thing you need to add all the credits and you need to write the total total credits here that is so let's sum it up 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11, 3 is 14, plus 3 17, 18, 19, 20. So here you can see that if we add all these credits, you get 20. Okay. So you need this uh, 20 uh, in the later part. I'll tell you. Okay. So now I'll be giving some. I'll be giving some random marks uh, for uh, these courses that uh, which you have scored. Okay. So you need to consider your marks uh, your, uh, when you check your result. Whatever the marks you get, you need to consider that. Okay. Yeah. so i'm just uh, uh, as a, uh, i'll give some of the random marks here in the course one let us assume that one so uh, one student has scored 85 and here uh, let us assume that he has scored 80 uh, 89 seventy seven ninety eighty five eighty eight ninety four so i'm gi- i've given a random marks here okay so now what we need to do is gpc so what does this mean this means grade point calculation okay so what we need to do is so here we can see that in the first subject uh, the first uh, score is 85 so we we need to see if 85 lies in uh, which number in between which number see it lies between 80 to 89 and for 80 to 89 the grade point is 9 right so first write it as 9 here into the credits for that subject the credits for that subject here is 4 okay so 9 into 4 is equal to 36 right so this is your grade point for this particular subject okay so let's go to the next subject same thing so here again he has scored 80 it again uh, uh, lies in the range of 80 to 89 again it is 9 into the credits for this is 4 so again 9 4 is 36 
and again 89 so it again lies between the range of 80 to 89 so it is 9 into the credits for this is 3 so the uh, uh, total answer is 27 and for uh, 77 lies between the range 70 to 79 so your grade point would be 8 into 3 the credits for that subject is 3 so 8 3s are 24 so 90 to 99 is 10 so 10 into 3 it is 30 again 85 so 9 into the credits for this is 1 so 9 ones are 9 again 88 so it is 9 ones are 9 again 94 so it is in 90 to 99 range so 10 ones are 10 so this is the distribution of the grade points so now what we need to do is we need to sum all this okay so we need to sum all these uh, uh, numbers which we have got here so after summing uh, we got the final answer here as 181 okay so now the real thing starts how to calculate sgpa the sgpa calculation uh, formula is for this is total grade points divided by total credits so this is it using this unit for here we have found the total grade points as 181 and the total credits uh, for all the courses will, uh, if we add it up we get it as 20 so 181 we need to do uh, 181 divided by 20 so you got 9.05 as your SGPA this is your SGPA for this particular mark sheet here okay which I have given it as randomly so this is this way you need to calculate your SGPA so in order to calculate your CGPA so SGPA is only for one SEM CGPA is for two SEMs of a one year okay so if you got 9.05 in one SEM and in the next SEM you got it as something 8.85 so the CGPA formula is the, uh, which how much how much ever the SGPA you got in two sems you need to add it up that is 9.05 plus 8.85 divided by 2. So that would be approximately your CGPA approximately you would be getting it as 8.95. Okay. So in this way you need to calculate your CGPA. Okay. So again uh, I hope you understood this uh, the calculation that is I am again I will again brush it up. We need to know the grade point system here. According to that, I have given a grade points here. Credit system for theory, lab, theory plus lab and MCQ or, or language. And uh, randomly I have given the marks here. And I have calculated the SGPA. That is total grade points divided by total credits. And the CGPA is for the two semester. Whatever, how much ever SGPA you have got, you need to sum it up for two semester divided by two. It's uh, basically taking the mean of the two semester SGPA is your So from that you can calculate your CGPA. Okay. So this was all the steps to calculate the SGPA and CGPA. So hope you all liked it. And uh, this uh, is common for all the semesters. Okay. Any uh, student of any course of any sem, you can uh, refer this video. And uh, please, uh, those who don't know, uh, please share it in a huge number. Also, if you don't want this uh, manual calculation, the VTU site has left the uh, SG, uh, SGPA CGPA calculator, VTU calculator in their uh, official website. So you can uh, see on the right of the screen now, it would be appearing in the WhatsApp channel as well. Okay, you can visit that and you can uh, visit that link as well. So that's all. Also, uh, we are going to start the uh, courses for the fourth sem. All the subjects we are going to cover it in a short time right now. After a few days we are going to start with the subject. Okay. So yeah that's all. So please like, share, subscribe and uh, comment down your opinions about how was this, uh, was this useful or not for you. Okay. That's all. Thank you.